Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my trip to the University of Michigan Raw School of Business campus on a flying program that I'll tell you about later, but let's get into the video. Also, I don't know why I decided to come back to YouTube when I have the flu. So excuse my voice, but it was my first time riding a plane or like taking an airplane so this is jfk i live in new york city so you guys get to see it i know a lot of you guys don't live in new york actually a lot of you guys don't even live in america so i thought i'd show you a little bit of jfk it overall my experience with jfk was beautiful the takeoff and touchdown was amazing and michigan to new york or new york to michigan is only about two hours so the entire plane ride wasn't that bad So again, like I was saying, they paid for my trip. So when we got there, we had chauffeurs come and pick us up and drop us off at the hotel. And the hotel was beautiful, especially for me and my mom. But we didn't do anything much on the first day. So we just stayed at the hotel and relaxed. And on the beginning, like at eight o'clock in the morning, actually of the second day, we went to Ross. Now, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get like such beautiful uh, videos and clips because I wasn't really supposed to be recording. I was supposed to be, you know, learning about college or whatever, but I got what I can and they fed us and gave me this really cool book and stuff and I had a great time. So again, the name of the program is the All Access Weekend and I'll fill you guys in. Don't worry by the end of this entire, what is this called? A vlog? Yeah, a vlog. <laughs> As you can see, the entire campus is basically all glass and they're very sustainable. They believe in solar power and energy power, energy power, <laughs> plant power. Um, and so everything's made out of glass to be as, you know, sunlight friendly as possible. And they have green roofs and, you know, certain types of heating. I mean, it's just a beautiful campus. I think it's like $200 million um, for the extension of Ross and don't even get me started on the base campus. The school has six floors and all of them are connected with glass elevators. And uh, here's a little mini clip of me winning a stock market game for the first time. <laughs> it was really fun to do. And then, yeah, sorry. I went to a uh, banquet that night. Actually, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. I went to a banquet that night. So here you go. Here's a little montage of that night. And yeah. So here's when I got some more of the better clips of the entire University of Michigan campus. So again, Ross School of Business is a school of business, but it also is connected to the University of Michigan. There's like four main campuses. I won't get into that because I probably will do a different video of talking about the University of Michigan. Um, but for this, you know, part of the tour, you can see some of their law buildings. And this is where these, sorry, <laughs> I'm not refilming this. Um, this is where you can see a lot of their uh, campus and, you know, stuff that's not glass. These things have been here for years and so it really won't change. But they're still beautiful and there's so much green space. There's even a squirrel feeding club. So the squirrels here look like mini bears. I don't know if that's a pro or a con, but you can take that as you will. There's beautiful art and sculptures like all over the campus. I mean, just walking through it was just, you know, my eyes, I, I was just in awe walking through it the entire time. Um, and there's posters everywhere and you can see like the students are actively engaged. Like it wasn't just empty. It was just a nice time to be there. And this building is new. It's their uh, cultural center. And then we can walk through their like commercial, com sorry commercial district um it looks like new york city if you live in new york city but if you don't it looks like an urban center some of you guys may not have that but yeah and again there's art and they give away free food and the community was super nice
There also is Greek life on campus, so as you can see, there's a pumpkin um, with a wig on, and I thought that was kind of funny to include. Again, I'm really sorry about these clips because I wasn't supposed to be recording, so I tried to get you guys the best, like, incognito recording I could. Um, but, you know, it, it could be a little bit better. Don't worry, don't worry. I promise there's better things in store. So let me talk about the All Access Weekend program because I do want a lot of you guys to attend. If you are an underrepresented uh, demographic, especially in your area, then this is really the program for you. So what you're going to do is next year around, I think, well, 2023, when I'm uploading this is 2022. So 2023 March or March of any year, you're going to check on the University of Michigan website and look for the All Access Weekend panel. And there you submit your application. It's kind of like a college application but for you know the specific you know program you're going to write about why you love business and why that's something you want to pursue and why do you want to go to the university of michigan and if they select you then you and your mother or your father or whoever or you by yourself if no one can go with you will be flown out to the university of michigan for that tour i had a marvelous time and this is like one of my dream schools they treated me treated they treat i think it is treated <laughs> they treated me so well there and michigan is actually really pretty especially for you know me never leaving the city seeing like a, such a rural area connected to a city was so funny to me and we flew back and actually my experience flying back was horrible our plane because there was like the storm and this was so long ago um our plane got delayed five hours so when we were supposed to leave at two we ended up leaving around i think seven and we got home around nine um but other than that the detroit michigan airport which is this is huge it's the biggest airport i've ever seen it's bigger than jfk by like a million i swear but look how pretty this was 